Hi guys, welcome back to Run Pet Bath and Beauty. We, this is going to be the first in the series of both the men's and women's version of the same fragrance. Um, this happens to be my daughter's favorite fragrance. It is Ed Hardy for men. And I got it from Crafter's Choice. Let's hope it behaves properly because I want to do a drop swirl um, also with the men's. I'm using the same colors in both, but just different color combinations. So yes, this is posted on a Tuesday, but on Friday will be the first brand new video of Fridays. So I'm very happy. Then you'll finally have seen everything that you need to have seen from last year. So anyway, let's get started. This is my Isis recipe. Oils are dark because there is bentonite clay in there and I apologize for the dishwasher going. Um, it's a Saturday morning so there's stuff going on. So I'm going to get this mixed up really quick and then we will uh, do our lye water and what not. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do my lye water first. In my lye water, it is a 50-50 mix of aloe vera juice and distilled water, sodium hydroxide, salt, and sugar. So I'm going to get everything all mixed up and then we'll go over the colors. Oh crap, I need my gloves on. I will be sure to put my gloves on before I add my lye. Okay, we're at a very light emulsification. I'm going to have to stick blend each color. Um, I am using a light gold shimmer for the base and I'm using white and black for my accent colors. Now, I didn't tell you what this song was called, although, you know, the title tells you what <laughs> this song is called, but because this is my daughter's favorite cologne, I wanted her to name it and she wants to call it, she says it is a, a divine fragrance, so we are calling it Rhythm Divine by Enrique Iglesias. Just a little hint, the other one next on Friday is Enrique as well. So we wanted to keep the Enrique theme with this fragrance. Okay, so I just need a little bit of each color. I'm basically just putting enough in there that so I can stick blend. I might need to add some more TD to this. Not sure yet. So let me get those, these stick blended up and put my gold in there and we'll get started. Okay, I don't know if you can see this gold in my bucket. This gold is so beautiful. It'll be close to sort of the natural batter look, but it's gonna be really, really sparkly. I don't know if my camera will pick it up. So we'll see, okay, let me get this mixed. And you know what, I did with something really stupid. I mixed my white and my black, and I was like, oh crap, I gotta do my gold. <laughs> so I had to wash Judy off. So, anyway, let's get this uh, all mixed up. Okay, we're all set. All set. Get this off of here. I'm not even gonna, well, yeah, I'm gonna have to wash off my stick blender because it's a different fragrance. Well, no, because, it, okay, forget it. Forget I said that. I'm hand stirring in the fragrance. So let me make sure I get everything off the signs. Okay, so behave, please behave, please behave, please behave. It smells absolutely, Lauren is right, it smells absolutely divine. Oh, 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 it really does smell so good. And look at that. So far, no rising, no acceleration so far. Let's get this stirred in really, really good. Get it any off the sides. Let me get my white. Oh, so at any rate, this is the first new soap you're seeing after I had my surgery and everything is going good. Um, healing process is fast, actually, faster than I expected. So, I mean, obviously I'm soaping. But is it still sore? Yeah, but it's good. So, all right, mold, mold. 
Okay, let me get let me get Judy out of here and put this over here so I can move this so y'all can see. I'm gonna bring you down just a little bit. That way I can put my mold where it needs to be. Get you guys in closer. Okay, so here we go. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful, you guys. Okay. I originally had thought that maybe I might want to make this um, soap a, uh, and I'm putting, whoop, I'm putting all the white and black in right now. I originally thought about making this look like sheet music. My daughter plays the viola, and this particular song has strings in it so but I don't know maybe the next time I make it I will it's a lot more work and you know I booked my first show today this morning as a matter of fact I got an email from Woo! oh my god <laughs> you guys uh, what the heck oh my word oh my word well, you know, you're not making a mess. You're not soaping right. You know what? Let me have that spatula back. Let me uh, get as much of this off the counter as possible. It's a good thing I, I uh, alcohol my counters and stuff before I start, right? And I got to get all of this out of there. Otherwise, it's going to stick. And get this up here. I'm sorry if my head is in your way. And I forgot to put my, my goggles on. But, you know, it happens. And we're going to have to wait for this to set up just to... Well, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think I'm going to leave it and use this for samples. Um, but I still need to let it sit up a little bit. I'm going to put some gold um it's actually gold coast holiday mica on the top of it and do an infinity swirl both versions of this will have an infinity swirl so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wait for it to set up just to, well i don't know will it let me stir this up actually i can use the pipette to stir it up if this is mixed not in olive oil this time this is mixed in castor oil that's why i'm a little concerned I ended up, because I have these big, huge jugs of olive oil, they're metal jugs, because um, I get my olive oil, coconut oil, um, uh, my soybean, you know, all that from Webster, and they come in these big, you know, huge tubs or buckets or whatever, and it's hard for me to, you know, pour into this little thing here. Okay, so let's do an infinity swirl. And the other one is also going to have that. There we go. Oh, let's move some of that black down. There we go. Okay, let's alcohol this baby. I actually got the top of this alcohol bottle to go on because I hate that other alcohol bottle. I sort of fixed it. A glue gun will fix anything. Okay, guys. So in 18 to 24 hours, we will go ahead and cut this baby. And I hope that it gives me the look I'm looking, the look I'm looking for, the look I'm wanting. So I'll see you then. Bye bye. Hi guys. We are back to cut rhythm design. I'm gonna go ahead and take these corners off they're bothering me okay I'm gonna have to do that with the other one too okay let's see what we got let's see what we got Ooh. oh my goodness that almost looks like the inside of a person doesn't it like an x-ray <laughs> I was like my first reaction. I know I'm weird. 
kind of very weird first reaction. Okay, let's see. You want to actually cut into a bar? Okay. There we go. Oh, I know you guys can't see it, but the way that this gold sparkles like inside the soap is just beautiful. Absolutely just beautiful. I love the way this gold sparkles. And the camera would never do it justice. It's a little bit weird because it's really cold on the inside and not on the outside because of I had it in the freezer. Oh, my daughter's going to be so happy when she sees it, I think. We've been doing quite a few drops of the world in the last couple of weeks. But that's just how things go. I think I might try the next time I make this to do my original idea, which was to make it look like um, sheet music. That was my original plan, but I didn't tell my daughter that. I think if I had told her that, because you know, it's a, her favorite cologne ever, or perfume ever, I think if I had told her that, she would have like, oh! And I wasn't sure I was going to be able to pull it off with the way the fragrance reacts because I did a small test batch of this fragrance because it was the design I wanted. And I literally would have to like do a ton of math <laughs> in order to figure out, you know, how much for this layer, how much, you know, how much for the the gold layers and how much for the black layers and all that kind of stuff and what fits in my mold. So I just didn't have the patience nor the time to be perfectly honest with you to sit around doing all of that. I'm still working on getting my stuff together for tax man. So it's just the way it goes. Okay, one more. And I'll have a sample for this too. Although I did have a full cupcake. Well, like the base of a cupcake. For my daughter. There we go. So, alright then. Thanks guys for sticking with me. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Because this is Tuesday. Bye-bye.